Beauty is everywhere. You can see it in nature, you can see it in people, you can see it in the smallest moments, the most grandest gestures. So when you're surrounded by all this beauty, how are you actually processing it? What's going on in your brain when you perceive something beautiful? In this video, I'll explore that very topic. So if you'd like to know something beautiful, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so I can continue to help you mine the beautiful gold in mind. So looking at beauty in the brain, when we perceive something beautiful, our brains are actually quite active. There are several areas that are lighting up when we set our eyes on something beautiful. Some key regions to take note of are the orbital frontal cortex or OFC and the anterior cingulate cortex or ACC, which are associated with emotional regulations and judgment. The OFC is involved with your sensory and evaluation of rewards. It essentially helps you assess the emotional value of what's being perceived. This makes it a key part to decision making, especially related to aesthetic judgment. Then the ACC or the anterior cingulate cortex is closely linked to emotional processing and conflict resolution. It relates to how you react emotionally to something beautiful and the afterthoughts that come with what is being perceived. And then there are other areas like the nucleus accumbens that gets involved as it's the brain's reward system. It is the trigger that adds the sense of pleasure or reward when experiencing something beautiful. You then add the amygdala to the mix which is key in processing emotions and this explains why some of you respond in such an emotional way to someone or something that is quite beautiful. These, all of these neural activities through the brain is what defines your overall emotional and cognitive experience with beauty. So sure, what is beautiful is largely subjective, but th that doesn't mean that there aren't university qualities that are viewed as beautiful. A world after all is shaped and built in a way that fits together. The world with all its colors, shapes, and sizes is one grand piece of art. For example, despite the differences in preferences, some ways our brain defines beauty as whether something has simplicity. Is there a clear form or pattern? The overall aesthetic appeal to something that is simple to digest can never be understated. And then there's symmetry. We all like symmetry. Symmetrical forms are universally perceived as more beautiful, potentially linked to evolutionary indications of genetic cohesion. This is one of the reasons why, even when it comes to human faces, we find faces that are more symmetrical to be more attractive. And then there are color juxtapositions. Colors that contrast with one another help to enhance aesthetic appeal. This contrast of colors helps to create a sense of balance. Even when it comes to food, a study found that saturation and contrast in color were things that indicated visual attractiveness of that food. And then of course there is specific ratios. Certain physical ratios like the golden ratio are often associated with beauty, indicating a preference for proportionality and balance. But of course beauty isn't just something to appreciate. Learning how to be more beautiful, whether that be physically or even just mentally, is something that can help far more than you think. When it comes to finding a job, for example, it's said that attractive individuals often perceive preferential treatment in hiring, promotion, and salary negotiations. In fact, in one study, they found that people that were considered attractive were more likely to move on to the next stage of hiring. And then there's also the health perceptions. People tend to associate attractiveness with good health, leading to favorable assumptions about a person's well-being. Even if you look at the idea of symmetry, which I talked about earlier, in a study from University of St. Andrews, they tweaked with different symmetry angles for photos of participants and found that when presented with photos of people in symmetrical angles, those people were seen as healthier and more attractive compared to the photos that showed them in a more asymmetrical light. And then of course, being beautiful in general boasts your chance of finding a mate, which from an evolutionary standpoint helps to keep your bloodline surviving. Attractiveness boosts your chances of finding a romantic partner, and as studies suggest and have shown, attractiveness was a key characteristic that both men and women looked for when searching for a partner. And then there is the added benefit of appearing more trustworthy when you're perceived to be attractive. What this does is then open up more outdoors and opportunities, and with all of these more opportunities, you can get up further ahead in life. So beyond what is mentioned here, there are also cognitive biases that actually play tricks on your brain when you perceive something as attractive. The way you interact with said thing and make your decisions is just proof that beauty can be a weapon if used right. So if you're interested to learn more about these cognitive biases, like the halo effect, make sure to watch the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to continue to be fed nuggets of goals on brain and behavior.